greenies all back here with y'all yet again. You know, my much in a much more sad case. <sighs> Pretty sure though, it's, it's much more. Uh, you know, it's probably uh, people start to talk about it, but it's kind of like a old. Well, yeah, I don't know if uh, probably some people because it's kind of like a. Uh, I'll see if I can leave the, uh, you know, link in the title. But yeah, it's just. Yeah, this is why I just, like, I really don't have, you know, expectations. I, don't, I really don't have, no, not that. Like, I really don't have uh, any type of, I don't have the same level of hype. Well, not really for anything, but I just don't, you know, as far as, like, really just, like, having, as far as, like, anything where I can just, you know, escape. Or, no, like, how, how, how am I trying to put this? As far as, like, yeah, just trying to, uh, you know, go as far as, or oh, into, like, you know, like, like, cinema, you know, uh, now wrestling, you know, because I, 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 I will, like, I always knew, like, politics, like, has his, pretty much his hand in everywhere, but, you know, it's, it's unavoidable, like, you can't, like, politics is really much everywhere. Well, it's not, not like, not really the politics you see, like, uh, referring to, you know, uh, country the country, uh, you know, president, those kind of politics, like, you know, president and they go over like, uh, you know, bills and everything like that. Um, you know, for politics as in when they say like, uh, you know, drama. So it's unavoidable. It's going to be in everything pretty much. So and yeah, it's just like, this is why also I just, I, you know, like even end up like this where I just, I just use to escape, well, I'll really get into it, you know, before I start going off anything, <laughs> I'll try to, because uh, I wrote the article down too, had to, because <laughs> I can't really, because I'm recording off of my uh, phone, so, let me just, let me just read this, and, uh, you know, I'll probably uh, snap, at a, snap out a bit, a little bit too, not to, I'll keep it to a minimum, I'll keep it to a minimum, like, as far as the point, you know, to y'all, <laughs> Had to have a point where you had to, you know, turn it down and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it to a minimum, of course. So, shout out to, uh, you know, Millennial Smart. He gave it. He kind of, like, uh, gave me a sense. Because I was like, wait, what? I was saying, he made a video on it first. But, so, I referred to it as, like, uh, you know, WWE's, like, uh, they're now intentional of now hiring only much more, not necessarily black wrestlers, but much more, uh, you know, color, more like, uh, as far as like, I guess, you know, if you want to defer other than like white, they're like, their primary objective is to, yeah, much more, uh, you know, color diversity and attractive. I can't really say like attractive because that's always been their attention as far as what, you know, the women's wrestler goes before. Let me just get into it. So it says earlier, earlier this year, and this is around the time, it's like half of the year, like kind of, but yeah, it's still like uh, back in August, this was in, this was in August. So it said earlier this year, WWE was in Las Vegas for SummerSlam, and while being there, the company conducted tryouts for talents. And I don't, that's kind of weird. I won't say that's necessarily world. I won't say that it's necessarily really like extremely weird because, you know, it's like, I mean, yeah, if you uh, just want to just say, like, hey, just uh, if you want, they want to go out and uh, try to re recruit an assortment of recruit, re recruit like uh, trials that have, like, you know, people, athletes. I can seem like they have. I can. I can see as far as like uh, you know the ring standpoint, but as far as like having you know the necessary, most of them is because you could say like it's, it's a very few, like you know I guess I could say ten, like you know not all of them really is gonna have you know as far as like uh, you know the ring because you still got wrestlers that's receiving like you know as far as in WWE and AEW too, like Jade Cargill and. Uh, of course, Eva, but, you know, as far as, like, uh, yeah, this ones that, you know, these companies, like, uh, WWE or AW, like, ones that they, like, push really don't have 
the ones that set the top, like even Roman Reigns, like he had to get to a point where he had to really get down as far as like getting the crowd behind his character. So I, I don't really know about that, you know, really trying to just go out to recruit anybody because, you know, everybody's not, you know, really not going to have that. Can't just, like I said, like you can, it's not necessarily a bad idea, but then again, it pretty, like, pretty much is because he, like not really, you know, anybody's not going to have that, you know, it's pretty smooth. The, the ring uh, presence too, they're not going to really have the charisma and, you know, as far as character too, because just because anybody would say they can want to be a wrestler and everything like that, then I mean, how much can they actually, can they actually offer? And down to where they actually know how to be a wrestler. Cause yeah, too, like you have to have that you know finger, that you know with charisma alone to be able to you know get the crowd to react and have to yeah to be able to have that power. So so. That's why I don't really, you know, agree with them. I don't really, like, get the uh, intention. Uh, like, pretty much as we get into it, no, really know the intentions are sad or really unreal. But, you know, as far as, like, just hiring, going to hiring anybody, just, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess, yeah, you can really, like, hire anybody, but as far as, like, because you can't, yeah, as far as just like uh, going to hire anybody, and when they really get down to it, uh, because they still you know need more time in the ring. Then yeah, as far yeah, just anything from the neck down, you know the ring presence, the charisma, character, everything like that. Yeah, yeah, just because you can few like a say a few lines, then as it doesn't mean you know you or just to do a few moves that, you know, like, necessarily kind of look good, doesn't really, like, elegate to, you know, to really be a wrestler, I don't, like I said, I don't really know, yeah, like, don't really agree to just to be hiring anybody, I guess that's what they do, they kind of do now also, they just kind of go to the events, which is kind of a cool idea, but can't just really hire anybody when, you know, just look at them you know, as far as just because they just giving them co contracts already giving them contracts what can they offer what can they really offer yeah give us like a you know a preview to what you know they can really offer charisma you know ring uh, wise also the look that really doesn't matter but yeah to these uh, you know the WWE it actually is so so uh, going from that, it says, yeah, many, many people made their way to Las Vegas in order to achieve their dreams of becoming WWE superstars. So, yeah, so they was uh, they wanted to because they was constructing trials. So you know, people just now they was uh, they was making their way to you know a lot of people were making it with you know, I guess you can say like uh, you know fellow uh, in the wrestling community or just like yeah just people. So, so people, yeah, they were making their lost. They were making their way to Las Vegas to you know, they, to become the superstars. And it says WWE is moving away from recruiting. WWE is moving away from recruiting indie wrestlers because they are, yeah, they're not because they're looking for you know more crossover athletes now, which I'm about to get into also. So, yeah, pretty much also because I guess. You know, people are really getting tired of, I don't really know, but I guess, uh, or just, uh, I guess you want to say that, because, uh, not necessarily me, uh, all the time, yeah, I don't like that to a certain degree, because we need still to have the diversity in wrestlers, but, you know, as far as, like, indie wrestlers, I guess, as far as, like, to a money standpoint to them, because they're trying to, uh, now they're, I will say the beauty part because that's pretty much they, they've always been in that, but now they're just it's just now behind a point where just now they're looking at, yeah, do they have that's and which you know which goes back to let me read it first. So they're looking for more like I said crossover athletes, crossover athletes, so you know train to be WWE superstars, and I guess that's more of like a. 
I don't know what they, what they mean by that, the article. The article is from Ringside News, but uh, what they mean by that. Uh, so, and there was even a video of, uh, I think y'all pretty much saw it. It's on uh, WB2 if you want to search it up. Yeah, it's on Ringside News. So like I, like I said, I'm done just making them up. It's on, you know, this is on, you can find this. Or, you know, just go to Wrestling News or type in Wrestling News in Google or whatever, whatever uh, browser that you uh, use to browse your yeah, information. Or not necessarily Google, but, you know, just to look up anything real quick. And you'll see. Or you want to, yeah, go to Ringside News. Like I said, I'll probably, I'll leave the link, but, yeah, this like, this is like actually out here. So, yeah. And you know you saw a video. It's actually on the WWE. Uh, I believe if that's the, if that's the video, on uh, it's on the uh, channel too. Of uh, Triple H giving out some contracts to you know trials. They even released a video of it. And it said that that they're looking for they're recruiting talent based on color. And like I said, I'm also, you know, beauty because that's always been a standard. That's, you know, as why as far as that. So they're now focusing on, you know, color. And it's just like, this is why I just, I just like, I don't look really look forward to anything nowadays. Because now it's everything nowadays, like these companies and, you know, corporations, that they just use them as far as, you know, pushing, you know, propaganda to, to also pander, you know, to the, the groups out here. <laughs> Like, you know, LGBTQ and, you know, necessarily the black community to just, yeah, to just at the same time pander and still make money off of it. it like, shit really doesn't make sense. Like, this is what makes me, you know, pulls me away. It's just like now I can't even escape now when it goes to wrestling. I just can't, you know, even escape or what really is there to look forward to now is just down just because it's not behind there. And you can, like, you say, oh, that's not really true because, you know, they still fired Hit Row. It's to still fire black, you know, more color based. They still, you know, color, you know, like Indian, Mexican, or anything like that. They still fire wrestlers that still have color. But that's their, still their attention, though. They're still, they're hiring now, you know, a base of wrestlers, what they've always been doing. They're going back. I guess you could say they're going back to, you know, hiring wrestlers. Yeah, which they favorite as their standard of what they think it is. And that's where that's why, you know, CM Punk always gave, you know, shit to, you know, to Hunter and Vince because they think they, you know, to what they think what makes a wrestler, you know, going off of just physical from a physical and, you know, color standpoint now. Now it's color now. But <sighs> that could have always been the attentions as well because they have, you know, you know, you have st like stories and they have, you know, been storylines where it's just, you know, primarily the Booker T one where it's just <laughs> they've gone to those boundaries to just like it's just complete with controversy where it's just, you know, controversy really doesn't matter. So. Like I said, that's why CM, you know, like many like others with CM Punk was, that's why he came at them the way he came at them. Like I said, like, just going off that, like, it's just how can you even, that's why, that's why a cat, like, that's why when a cat, or you just, anybody, you just can't get into mainstream, well, that's why they can't get in mainstream, they can't get in mainstream anymore, or they just, like, People that's just hardcore, you know, the wrestling community is just going as far as like going away from it because now it's just like okay, you recruit based off of that's really, really racist right there. Also, if you want to say that, <coughs> like this shit really doesn't make any sense. Like because like okay that, but they just like you're just hiring people based off their color and their beauty. That's why you know. That's why uh, you know you have certain wrestlers that. Where, where, you know, which is the, you know, the, uh, at a point where, you know, women's wrestling in WWE, you know, women's wrestling in WWE at a, was at a point where it was just, it got downright awful because you had the Bellas and you had, you had wrestlers like, you know, the Bellas, Eve, Kelly Kelly, where they was just, 
It was only getting the pushes they all they have. And that's true. Trish too, and Lita. They were only getting the necessary pushes that they have is because, well, well how much of you know how they looked. You know what Vince thought, or you know the back, of you know creative, or management thought. Well, because of how they looked, so they couldn't do anything fucking else. Which is why they, you know. They're not really there anymore, or they, which is why they got the pushes they want. But it's just okay. Like what? It's just, and that's just exactly why. It's just another reason why you know, as far as you know, wrestling WWE, because not everywhere, or everywhere else. But as far as like the water wrestling is not the way it is anymore. Because like I said before, you know, WWE is you know people are gonna look at WWE as the main focal point of wrestling, because the way how you know how much notoriety and how much pull it had, you know, it has, how many faces it has, because, you know, being that it's still watched by millions, and you know, it has been for a amount of years. So they're going to look at that, they're going to they're gonna look at WWE as, you know, yeah, that place, the primarily the place, now they can look at AW, but they were looking at that for an amount of time, that place as wrestling. And it's just like, yeah, you hiring people based, okay, trials and everything. Like I said, it's like that's not a necessarily a bad idea, but what can they do? What can they offer? Are they really, like, they really have those skills down to a point where they can actually be a wrestler? It's like you just hiring people based off of their, <laughs> because of what they look like. And that's just, yeah, that is, that is, that is putting, a you know, basically a foot on, you know, whoever actually has, you know, the potentiality or the talent to actually be a wrestler, and it's like they're suffering as a result because of now they go up, they're just hiring wrestlers, they're just hiring talent based off of hey, like what they look like, and it's just like seriously, oh my gosh, like it plays into every standpoint the rest from the wrestlers to the the writing team, creative. It's just like this. Like this shoot. This shit is re- completely retarded. It's just like now. It's just politics, and you know they they only doing this as far as like to appeal to the demographic and to now an even more dem the demographic crowd because of what's going on now. Also, and it's just like it's only just to make a you know amount of, you know to make money off of it. You know to capitalize and profit off of it. <sighs> Yeah, now y'all see how I just why, who you know, many others probably said it before. It is now now y'all see why it's just yeah. He just he doesn't hide, you know he doesn't push talent. It goes into that too. He doesn't push talent just because of you know skill. He pushes talent basically off of you know whether they favor it, whether he favor you know whether Vince favors them or not or not. You know or you know how they look like. <sighs> Like I said, y'all can look this shit up. It's not, you know, it's you know, it's public knowledge. It's not, you know, a secret. Or you can, you know, it's not that hard to, you know, pick out. And as far as like, you know, you know, they they did WWE had their because uh, it now it used it used to go back. It was before it was okay. They hire. They were looking for it. It was a certain look. Like if y'all say say that's not true. Okay, that's not true. Like. Then it, it what is there true? Look at look at how the woman is you know, look at how necessarily the woman is dressed. Okay. Like that's not a <laughs> that's not a clear indication already. And it should go and go and to the point, you know, they uh it was before and this is like necessarily too, starting off in, you know, the whole comedia era necessarily. They uh yeah, it was a certain look that, you know, Vince always went after. You know, that's why people make fun of it. <laughs> because he's always, you know, you know, meat bound, just, you know, uh completely jacked, uh, to the gills cons of uh, you know, wrestlers. And that was before, you know, that was, you know, he where he was going as far as like the muscular, which is why they couldn't really wrestle. <laughs> 
that's why you are, you know, sorry, all that muscle bound really. That's why you don't really see it now because he was like now they were on you know the indie wrestlers, but as far as like to a point point at a point in time they were uh, they were geared to you know the muscle bound wrestlers, and once well, you know once he like once that look wasn't uh, working because you know how people like uh, you know as far as like a straight out of a comic book level. I guess, and I guess, I guess that's why uh, that's you know whatever look to appeal to the audience, and then it went to you know the smaller wrestlers uh, taking over because they can actually uh, you know wrestle and it's but it's always a it's always a that one flaw too like also because that's why if you just hire it based off of what they look like then what what's their actual skills and what can they actually do? That's what's like really killing. Everything else takes a major, you know, fail, and it, you know, and wrestling as a whole is like, oh my gosh, man, it's it's like as a like, you know, wrestling used to be where I could just can escape, you know, this used to be where I all it's just what I love, you know, it's the main thing, what, you know, that, yeah, I just I loved it, the, the mainly what I loved, it was fighting games. Horror, uh, horror films, and wrestling. Right, like wrestling is all I grew, I grew up in, and I used to escape and just always looked at it. I always loved, you know, like I said, always before. I always loved wrestling to a point. I just I can't get enough of it, and it's just like now it's just making it. It's also suffering too, just like everything else. Politics, much more, even more politics, propaganda, whatever you want to call it. Whether it's, you know, the LGBTQ or color now, it's just based off of that. Like I said, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. It's just that the way, you know, the true attention that they're getting at, and it's just for money. That shit doesn't make any sense. And I got to get it to also, like, the any wrestlers, they can actually wrestle and everything like that, but... What, 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 like, do they have the complete package? Like, okay, they can wrestle and everything like that. That's, yeah, that's great. I, like I said, I love wrestling. Without it, there would, you know, would actually, you can, what would there else be without wrestling? As far as, like, you can watch, okay, if I want to watch somebody, you know, if I want to watch a reality show, I'll go and watch a reality show. If it was just an entertainment aspect, all just based off of that, but it's not, but. You know, any wrestlers, that's why they strain away from that. I guess also, too, like I said, like, it doesn't really matter, you know, to me. Yeah, I could say as long as they're complete, you know, diversity from that, not just too many because they all look the same. They all do look the same. That's, you know, pretty much, you know, kind of a problem. <sighs> but it's, shit doesn't really make sense. Like, this is unreal. But, Yeah. I saw what that's that's what that's what they're doing right now. They also said that's like a primary, uh, cause he also said that's what. You see. Yeah, he said that's what their uh, that's their primary objective right now. Yeah, he was talking on you know their observer radio, and he said this is their uh, primary objective right now. And that's to you know, going back to you know as far as like yeah I guess. Really good crossover I guess you know as far as like yeah. Probably going back to hiring much more, you know, built bigger wrestlers and, you know, you know, their standard of how they look also. But like I said, do they actually have any type of skill levels? It's just like, what? All that matters for. It's just, you know, can they actually have any other type of skill set to where it's like, can you, you know, they can actually propel, to, you know, wrestling as a whole in the business of, you know from a business standpoint but I know look it's like it is a good I don't care about that also but as far as like just because I don't give a fuck I don't ever want to understand business and everything like that because that's you know the also the reason why it's just everything else has failed because you know that's why uh, I to just black what else I was about to put it Yeah, that's why, but, yeah, it's like, uh, as far as, like, like I said, diversity, diversity is okay. People can relate 
the, you know, to whoever they want to relate to is okay, but they don't actually have what it takes to, you know, get other people, you know, invested to elevate everything else. It's like, why? It's like, why even try? Doesn't make sense at all. I'll probably have another video talking about top dollar, you know, because <laughs> I want to talk about that also. You know, if I, yeah, he pretty much got his uh, group fired for it, but yeah, I'll talk about that. I'll try to get that out too, and uh, probably more everything, more uh, anything else too. But that's pretty much it, and uh, I'll see y'all whenever I see y'all again. Stay blessed, y'all.